Color Morning Show, very first cooking show. Hi, John. Hi, Monique. Thank you for joining us. What will we be making today? Today we're making a traditional apple pie for Thanksgiving. Let's get started. All right, then. So the first thing we're going to need is our pastry dough. We're starting with two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, half a teaspoon of sea salt, half a cup of cold unsalted butter, and we've got these sliced into chunks to make it easier for mixing, half a cup of cold vegetable shortening, also cut into chunks. We have two tablespoons of lemon juice and about eight tablespoons of cold water. But what we want to do is we're actually going to start blending it. Uh, you want to start with a low uh, uh, feeding, and you want to start adding your water uh, one tablespoon at a time to the the batter. So I'm just going to put the one in first, and then start. You want me to add it? Well, sure, you can do that. And what we're doing is eight uh, tablespoons. Tell me All right, and you'll just be adding one tablespoon at a time, a total of eight tablespoons. Now what we're looking for is, right now everything is really loose and what the water is going to end up doing is going to start making everything start to clump together. And we'll see that it's just starting to do that now. If you are finding that the dough does not want to be together after you've added the eight, then I would recommend very slowly adding in more tablespoons at a time. So now our dough is finally thickening. Alright, so that's what we're going to do is now that all your dough is kind of sticking together, you want to mold it into about a disc shape and you want to put it in a... And what we're going to do is we're going to put it in a bag, but um, what we actually recommend is plastic wrap. We don't have any plastic wrap on it, so a Ziploc bag will work just fine for this. And you want to just Try to get it as airtight as possible if you are going to use the blood bag. And then you want to put it in the fridge for a half hour. And one recommendation when you're trying to peel these apples, because I've got all these ones peeled and chopped. When you're trying to slice your apple and you want to get the core out of the apple, one recommendation is to take your uh, measuring spoon and take one that's about the size of the core in the apple. And then what you want to just do is dig out just that core. And so what you're left with is it takes out the core and it leaves you with the most amount of apple. And so what we're going to just do is we're going to just cut it into medium to thin slices because that will look best when you're actually cutting up the apple and serving it to your family. Do the apples cook better when you do that too? Uh, it doesn't really make much of a difference with the cooking. It's more for presentation. You can cut it any way you feel most comfortable with. For the filling, we want three quarters of a cup of white regular fine sugar, a half a cup of packed light brown sugar. Make sure that it's packed down so as to get the right amount you're looking for. Two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of the lemon zest that we zested earlier, you also want a tablespoon of lemon juice, a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, and I want two tablespoons of unsalted butter. So we're going to mix it up all together, and you want to try to get all the pieces of apple evenly coated in the sugars and flour. There will be a little bit of residue on the bottom of the bowl from the lemon juice. If you want to you want to mix that in as much as you can and if you've got some on the bottom that's okay because it will be left out when we actually add it to the pie. While John is mixing up the filling, here are your announcements for this week. On October 4th, uh, question and answer period is with student union. For more information, contact Andrew Lassard or um, any members of union. Also, October 7th is another community commons event, so all you off-campus students come on out and earn some points for your house. Um, it is running from 2 to 5 o'clock in the den. You get some free prizes, free food, and some free drinks. Also, your second academic session for community commons is happening on October 13th. 
from 12.30 to 2 o'clock in the boardroom. It will be conducted by Tony Serafini about how to write an essay. Come on out. So now our dough is ready to be flattened. And Monique has done an excellent job dusting down the table with just regular all-purpose flour. So what we want to do is put it onto the flour. And we want to just cut half of the dough out for now. I'm going to use just a pot bottle. Oh. Any kind of bottle will work. And you just want to dust it down with some flour. And then we're going to just start rolling it out. So what we're going to do is when you've got a lot of uh, just sprinkle flour on the dough, and you want to just start rolling it out into a circular pattern. Paying most attention to the fact that you're keeping the dough at a consistent uh, level so that there's no higher ends or spots. Okay. All right, and we just want to flip over the dough and spread a little bit more on this side and roll it up just to be sure that it's flat on both ends. All right, now that looks pretty good. Just want to get mostly the same size. And then what we want to do is we're going to add it to our pie pan. And this is really good because if you don't get it right the first time, it's not that big of a problem. Because that just means you can take it out and flatten it to the size you want. You want to stop down and getting it all nice and level. Alright, next the focus is on our crust. And while I'm getting the crust down, what you can start doing is putting the filling in. You might want to roll up your sleeves for this part because what you want to do is instead of just pouring the entire bowl in, you want to take handfuls and place it in uh, evenly around uh, the entire pie. And try to get as little of the um, liquid in there as possible. Because when it's baking, it's going to release a lot of its own liquids, and we don't want a soup. We want a nice, uh, juicy pie. And that's where the lemon juice is, right? Exactly. So Monique has been good enough to put the two tablespoons of butter. All we're doing is we're lightly putting it around the inside of the pie, just on top. And then we're going to take our top crust and just place it on top of the pie like this. And you just kind of want to make sure that all the apple pieces are within your pie, pie plate like that. And I have a fork on me, so I'm going to use a knife. But what you want to do is you want to take a fork and poke holes with the fork along the pie in order to let steam escape while it's baking. And the other thing that I'm not showing what we're going to be doing right now is the recipe calls for an egg with two uh, tablespoons of water. And what you end up doing is you whisk that together and you want to just uh, put that over top of the pie. And that'll give it a really nice golden texture. Also, once you uh, put the egg and water on it, what you want to do is sprinkle a little bit of sugar on top of that whether you're using fine white sugar or a coarser white sugar, uh, specifically used for pastries, it really doesn't uh, make that much of a difference. I've used both and both turn out just as well. But our pie is basically ready. I'm going to just skip the part of the egg and we're gonna just put it into our oven. So the pie is now in the oven and it's ready to go. Uh, and it bakes for how long? So what you want to do is you want to preheat your oven while you're still making your filling at about 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And you want to put the uh, pie in there for 10 minutes at 400. And then once those 10 minutes are up, you want to change your temperature to 375. And it bakes for another 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Yes. Special thanks to the book Fresh by Anna Olson for the wonderful recipe. To find this recipe on our Facebook page, just type in SJU Morning Show and the recipe will be laid out right there for you to make this wonderful, delicious apple pie.